How were you able to push my swing so easily? Dear, I apply force to make your swing move. Mom, what is force? Force is a pull or push applied on an object. Force is needed to do work. It helps in setting a body in motion and also helps in stopping a moving body. Force is also said to be applied when an object is twisted, bent or squeezed. It can also change the shape of a body or the direction of motion of the object. There are various types of forces. These forces can be classified as frictional force, muscular force, elastic force, mechanical force, gravitational force, magnetic force and buoyant force. Let us study about these forces one by one. It is a force that acts to oppose the motion of an object on a surface. When you play carom, the striker moves very smoothly if enough powder is sprinkled on the board. Why is it so? It is because frictional force acts against the movement of the striker on the board. To reduce this force, we apply powder on the board. Powder makes the surface smooth. Similarly, we use lubricants or oil in machine parts to reduce frictional force. This reduces friction and prolongs life of machine parts. Frictional force is very important in our daily life. It helps us in walking. Without frictional force, we will never be able to walk, hold, write or fix anything. When you lift your school bag, a force is applied by the muscles. This force is known as muscular force. An elastic material will deform when a force is applied on it and return to initial shape and size when this force is removed. This force is called elastic force, for example, rubber band, spring, etc. Amazing fact! In some small villages or in small towns, people use banana skins to push their boats or small ships from land into water. These peels act like lubricants. When a crane lifts the heavy loads, it uses mechanical energy to do this work. So we can say that a force that can cause or change motion of an object by contacting it is known as mechanical force. When we throw a ball up in the air, the ball goes up and then falls down. This occurs because the earth attracts all the objects. This force of attraction exerted by the earth is known as gravitational force. This force keeps us and all other things present on the earth's surface binding to the earth. Remember that gravitation acts between all objects in the universe. Imagine what would happen if the earth would not have any gravitational force. We all would be flying everywhere in space. Nothing would remain on the earth. Why is it difficult to climb up a hill? At the same time, why is it easy to come down a hill? The reason is that while going up, we are going against the gravity. So we have to apply greater force to go away from the center of the earth. But while coming down, gravity of the earth draws us towards its center. And hence, it is easy to come down. Amazing fact! Isaac Newton first discovered the force of gravity. He was inspired to see an apple falling down from a tree. It is the force exerted by a magnet. Magnet is a natural substance having the ability to attract iron and other magnetic objects. Nowadays, we are using magnets in refrigerator door, TVs, computers, toys, stereo systems and speakers. Take a bucket full of water and try to dip a mug or a smaller beaker into it with its mouth up. As you try to immerse or dip it, you feel an opposite force from water. Since the opposite force applied by water is greater than the weight of mug, the mug is pushed up to the surface back as soon as you release it. This upward push of water on the object immersed in it is called buoyant force or buoyancy. Work is done when something is moved through a distance. Force is needed to do work. Work is also done when a moving object is brought to rest or its direction of motion is changed. Energy is the ability to do work. Work is done when a force is applied. We can apply force with our muscles. 
from where do we get the energy to apply this force we get this energy from the food we eat in the same way in a car or a bus the engine exerts force which helps in the movement of the car or bus the engine gets the chemical energy of the fuels like cng petrol or diesel to apply this force if there is no petrol or diesel or cng the car or bus cannot move as there is no source of energy available mechanical energy is of two types kinetic energy and potential energy kinetic energy the energy that a moving object possesses is called kinetic energy for example a moving ball a moving bus a falling toy etc possess kinetic energy potential energy the energy stored in an object because of its position or configuration is called potential energy for example a stretched rubber band called spring water in dam etc possesses potential energy water from dam moves turbines to produce electricity it is the energy produced by moving air this energy is used in windmills steel boats etc the energy that we get by burning any fuel like cooking gas kerosene petrol etc is heat energy heat energy is used to run steam engines cooking food etc the energy from the sun is called solar energy plants use solar energy to make their food by photosynthesis we also use solar energy to cook food and heat water an electrical appliances run on electrical energy electrical heaters light bulbs and tube lights electrical fans fridges acs and washing machines are some electrical appliances which use electricity it is also a form of energy musical instruments stereo systems horns of vehicles televisions radio fire crackers etc are some sources of sound the energy of our muscles to do work is known as muscular energy walking running cycling kicking a ball etc are some activities which are possible because of the muscular energy this is the energy emitted by the sun bulbs tube lights burning candle etc because of this form of energy we are able to see the energy stored in chemicals is chemical energy car battery tar cells are examples of stored chemical energy food is also an example of stored chemical energy a magnet has magnetic energy because of the magnetic energy it can attract or an object geothermal energy is thermal energy generated and stored inside the earth we know that earth's core is very hot 6000 degree celsius whereas earth's surface is relatively cooler this leads to the flow of heat energy from earth's interior to the surface the volcanic eruptions and hot water springs are examples of releasing geothermal energy in large bursts geothermal energy is used to produce electricity by drilling wells into the geothermal reservoir energy can neither be created nor be destroyed it can only be converted from one form into another hello children name some machines mixer sewing machine good now tell me what are machines machines are things that help us to do work yes machines help us in doing the work easily today let us study about simple machines simple machines are the tools which make our work easier they help us to get work done easily by applying force at a convenient point or by changing the direction of the force some simple machines are lever incline plane pulley wheel and axle screw wedge all heavy machines no matter how complicated they may be are a combination of simple machines lever is a simple machine a lever helps in exerting force in such a way that it makes our work easy it is not easy to pull a nail from a wooden plank with bare hands but it can be easily pulled out by a lever 
Even an ordinary spoon can act like a lever to open a tight lid of any box. Is it possible for us to lift a big rock from its place? No! But we can lift it by using a rod and a point of support. This forms a lever. There are three important points in levers, which are Load. This is the point at which work is being done. It is denoted as L. Effort. This is the point where we apply force to do the work. It is denoted as E. Fulcrum. This is a point which is fixed and never moves. It is denoted as F. In the figure given above, the big rock is load, L. The effort, E, is the force used by the boy and the point of support or the pivot point is the fulcrum, F. Levers are classified according to the position of the fulcrum, the load and the effort. To remember these three kinds of levers, remember the mnemonic, F, L, E. Each in the center makes the lever class 1, 2 and 3 respectively. When the fulcrum is between the load and effort. When the load is between the fulcrum and effort. When the effort is between the fulcrum and load. Put a pencil flat on the table. Keep a ruler measuring 30 cm across the pencil so that ruler's two ends teeter back and forth like a seesaw. Now adjust the ruler at about 15 cm mark so that the two ends of ruler balance perfectly. Stack 5 1 rupee coins at the very edge of ruler on 1 cm side. Another 5 1 rupee coins at the very edge of ruler on 30 cm side. As the weight of two piles of coins is equal, the two ends of ruler balance each other. Now move one pile of coins towards the pencil. So, what happens? You all might have enjoyed playing on a slide in a park or at school. A slide is an inclined plane. An inclined plane is a flat surface which has one end higher than the other. The picture given shows that carrying luggage or heavy load becomes easy by using an inclined plane. Otherwise, the load can be too heavy to be lifted on a person's back. Amazing fact! Egyptians used inclined planes to make their pyramids and reach high areas. Pulley is used to lift heavy weights in an easy way. It is a small wheel with a groove around its outer edge. This groove can hold a rope in position. There are two types of pulleys. Fixed pulley, movable pulley. Fixed pulley is fixed to some support. A rope is passed over the pulley. One end of the rope is tied to a load and the effort is applied on the other end. A similar but much smaller pulley is used on a flag pole to hoist the flag. This is usually used to draw water from the well. Movable pulley helps to reduce the effort because the weight is supported by more than one pulley. More the number of pulleys easier become the work because the total effort gets divided across different pulleys. This is usually used to lift heavy loads. This simple machine is the most used machine all over the world. A wheel attached to a rod is called wheel and axle arrangement. For example, tap, screwdriver, grinding machine, bicycle and an egg beater have wheel and axle arrangement in them. Wheels with grooves or teeth are called gears. Do you know? A modified wheel and axle is known as windlass. It is a drum on which a rope is wound. Screw is a revolving inclined plane or an inclined plane wrapped around a cylinder. It is a simple machine used to hold things together tightly. The path of it is known as threads and the gap between two threads is called pitch. A screw is a triangle wrapped around a nail. One can do a simple experiment to make a screw. First, make a triangle from a paper. Then, color the largest edge of the triangle and wrap it around a pencil. The curls appearing on a pencil is exactly the same as it appears on a screw. A wedge has two inclined planes placed together in the shape of V. 
Wet is a simple machine that we use in many ways in our daily life. Wet is used for cutting and splitting things. Many garden implements and agricultural implements are wedges. For example, blade, knife, X, etc. Let us summarize. The pull or push applied on an object is known as force. There are different types of forces such as frictional, muscular, elastic, mechanical, magnetic, gravitational and buoyant. Frictional force is very useful and important in certain cases. But in some cases, it causes losses of energy. Gravitational force is the force due to the attraction between any two objects in the universe. Work is done when something is moved through a distance. Energy is the ability to do work. There are several types of energy like mechanical, wind, solar, muscular, heat, light, electrical and sound. Simple machine is a device which makes our work easy and simple. Simple machines are of six types. They are levers, inclined plane, wheel and axle, pulley, screw and wedge. There are three types of levers, first class, second class and third class levers, depending on the position of fulcrum, load and effort. An inclined plane is a slope used to lift heavy objects smoothly and easily. A pulley is a small wheel with a groove around its outer edge. Screw is an inclined plane wrapped around a nail to form spiral ridges. It is used to hold the things tightly. Wedge is a combination of two inclined planes placed side by side and is used for cutting and splitting wood etc. easily.